Hello Indie Game fans, the side-scrolling 2D platformer is a bread and butter genre in games going back to the classics and generally differs from the metroidvania since it is level based, so here's a look at some awesome upcoming games. I've covered a whole bunch of these in my video on upcoming pixel art games, link in the top right, so I shall not belabor the point with more new titles to get excited about. Let's begin with Era Exodium, a pixel art title set in a diesel punk world that I think looks grungy and fantastic. You play as a scientist who has figured out a way to cheat death, transferring your consciousness into a mechanical shell where you're trying to find out the truth behind the extinction of life, having to fight a bunch of mechatrons in order to do so. Of course, I love the pixel art, where the environments and the boss right at the end of this trailer looks great and does have some Warhammer 40k vibes as well. With this, tapping on Sumerian and Arcadian mythology which is something fresh. An impressive but perhaps nonsensically themed title is Soda Crisis, a side-scrolling run-and-gun action platformer where you are, well, running and gunning your way through enemies where in the Steam store description, it has the line, a crisis on earth, cola to the rescue, which I don't understand. Now it is being published by Bilibili, which is a Chinese publisher, so I think that the developer might be as well, which perhaps explains the story part of it, but the action does look fantastic. It has instant reset upon death, so it's definitely in the vein of games like Hotline Miami, Katana Zero and My Friend Pedro, with some sleek movement options and awesome looking weapons making this a no-brainer. Another fantastic looking pixel art action platformer is Berserk Boy, one that certainly has some Mega Man DNA, where a hero has 4 elemental forms that can be used to defeat bosses and enemies. The fluidity of the action is the main draw, with a variety of air control options as he bounces off one enemy to the next, used in combination with a variety of energy weapons. Berserk mode can be triggered as well, where special abilities can be activated once the meter is full, so certainly one for fans of the genre. This next title has been a very long time coming, and while Grapple Dog still has a TBA release date on Steam, I have a feeling that this will be out in 2022. Of course, from the title, the grappling hook is the central mechanic as our hero effortlessly swings from one point to the next. In the nice change, this does seem to be platforming focused where you do have to avoid a variety of traps but does have the collectibles aspect with the oranges and the time trial factor as well. This game really has impressed the demos released so far, but I think that if you love challenging titles like Super Meat Boy, this may just be your next obsession. A very long in development title is Brief Earth Prologue, which I believe is the full name of the game and is not a prologue demo, where I've seen this game crop up year after year with no release in sight. However, the developer is fairly active on Twitter, so I believe this is still in development, where it is what I would like to call a classic Vania title.
if you're not familiar, this is more like the older Castlevania games which are level based in some sense and not the modern Metroidvania or rather Symphony of the Night inspired level design, but this game nails the aesthetic as well. Fallen Leaf was a title that I had on my watch list for last year, where it got delayed from 2021 to 2022, so I'm fairly certain that it will release this year. From the action and look of the game, it sure looks to be inspired by Mega Man and Wonder Boy, especially due to the jump animation, but does have three playable characters which will have their own unique abilities. It manages to nail everything from the colour palette to the chiptune music, so of course I'm excited about this. I initially had Planet of Lana higher up on the list since I think this would be one of the best looking indie games of the year, but then realised that it self describes as a puzzle adventure with stealth and some light action elements, so not exactly an action platformer. But it looks so good that I have to give it a mention. It's an epic sci-fi saga across centuries and galaxies, telling the tale of a young girl and a companion as they go on a rescue mission. The latest trailer does show off some desert landscapes and drones which looks awesome, certainly giving off some Star Wars vibes, but where the gameplay does resemble more of Limbo or Far Lone Sails, but does have bits of action as well. A title that I've been very excited about is Charge Blade Hero, another game also delayed from 2021 to 2022, where you play as knockoff Cloud Strife and battle your way through the world. The developer has not released many details on the game, simply stating that it's a story about gods and heroes with what appears to be arena-focused combat with quite a bit of air control. The upgrade system does look impressive, as does the hand-drawn art, making it another cannot-miss title. Fans of the channel will be familiar with Gastova, The Witches of Arcana as well, since I've covered this game a number of times, but if you're new, firstly, welcome, and secondly, this is another Mega Man inspired title, only starring magical witches instead of robot masters. You play as Gastova, wanting to become the guardian witch of the land, tracking down and defeating former classmates to receive their blessing and to stop the source of chaos in the world. The pixel art look of this game is on point as well, where the character introductions at the end of the trailer does show the bosses and hints at their level themes from nature, spooky, Egyptian, bee, snow and more, so if you love the blue bomber, of course this will be of interest. It does have quite a catchy tune for the trailer as well, which I encourage you to listen in full on their Steam page, where it was initially slated for 2021 but got delayed, so will likely be a 2022 release as well.
One of my main reasons for making this video is to highlight Infernax, since while I did cover this game in the pixel art video as well, it did get a confirmed release date next month. It's also more of a classic Vania title, and it's a little more bloody and gory than I expected, where interestingly, there are branching paths, side missions, and multiple endings. This does also come to us from developer Berserk Studio, who are legendary in their own right, so of course I had to give it a mention, taking the number one spot. For more upcoming games of 2022, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.